Hi, I'm Jason from Ishimoto, and today I'm going to show you how to install the 2007 to 2010 BMW 335i Performance Radiator. Tools needed for this installation are T20 Torx, T25 Torx, 8mm socket, 10mm socket, quarter inch drive ratchet, quarter inch drive 6 inch extension, flathead screwdriver, smaller flathead screwdriver, and BMW approved coolant. Install time is about three to four hours. Install difficulty is four out of five. Okay, now we're gonna pop the hood and let's get started. First step is to jack the car up and make sure it's supported on jack stands or a lift. After the vehicle is fully jacked up, let the car cool down for a while. You don't wanna work on a scalding hot engine. Afterwards, using a T20 Torx, we can remove this front shield. Once the car is fully cooled down, go ahead and loosen the bleeder on the coolant reservoir. With the car up in the air, now we're ready to remove the under tray. Use a 8mm socket to remove all of the under tray bolts. Once you remove the final bolt, set the under tray to the side. Now we're going to disconnect the front mount intercooler. That's done by first disconnecting the quick disconnects on both of the charge pipes. Flathead screwdriver helps remove the quick disconnect clamps. Now using a T25 Torx, remove the two lower intercooler screws from the car. Using a large flathead screwdriver, Carefully remove the drain plug on the stock radiator. When most of the coolant is done draining, you can go ahead and put the drain plug back in before we're ready to take the radiator out. Now we're going to remove the upper radiator hose and to assist with the quick disconnect coupler, using a flathead screwdriver to remove the clip. and remove the overflow hose out of this clip. Now we're going to remove the electric fan. First thing to do is to disconnect this electrical connector right by the fan shroud. Once it's disconnected, you can take it, the electrical harness and move it out of the way. Now we're going to remove the upper Torx bolt on the fan shroud using a T25 Torx. This is the only actual bolt for the fan shroud. The rest is uh, used by plastic tabs. Also, there's a small plastic tab on the charge pipe right here on the intercooler, and you have to make sure that that is disconnected from the fan shroud. There's a small rubber tab where it's attached to. When you remove the intercooler, it should disconnect itself, but you never know, it could still be attached. So make sure this is separated. Remove the fan and fan shroud assembly from the car. Now that the fan shroud is removed, now we can remove the lower radiator hose and the removal is the same as the upper. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the metal tab from the plastic quick disconnect coupler. Now we're going to remove the two upper radiator bolts. These are the only two bolts that hold the radiator in and there's one on each side. Use a T25 Torx to remove them. And now the radiator is ready to come out. Now you can go ahead and install your new Mishimoto radiator. Bolt the Mishimoto radiator back into place. Now we're gonna reconnect the lower radiator hose. Now we're gonna reinstall the stock fan shroud. When reinstalling the stock fan shroud, make sure the tab on the driver's side of the fan shroud falls firmly into place onto the metal tab on the radiator. Use the supplied M6 bolt to reinstall the bolt on the passenger side of the stock fan shroud. And use a 10 millimeter socket to tighten it. 
When it's installed, you can go ahead and reattach the fan shroud electrical connector. Now you can reattach the upper radiator hose and reroute the overflow hose on top. Now we're going to reinstall the stock intercooler. Reinstall the stock intercooler using the stock T25 Torx bolts at each side of the intercooler. Now you can go ahead and reattach the two quick disconnect couplers for both hot and cold side of the intercooler. Now we're going to take the stock under tray and put it back on the car. You're going to set the under tray firmly into place and secure using a, a forward bolt and then a rear bolt to hold it into place. Then go and install the remaining 14 bolts. There are 16 bolts in total for the under tray and use an 8 millimeter socket to tighten them. Now reattach the stock intake duct. and attach using the two T20 Torx screws. When everything's reinstalled, double check your upper and lower coolant hoses and go ahead and remove the, the top to the coolant reservoir. It's a little bit tight, but don't let, let that discourage you. Just turn counterclockwise and pop it off. After you've completed the installation, go ahead and fill up the coolant reservoir, run the car, bleed the coolant out, check for any leaks, and go out and enjoy your new Mishimoto product. Thank you.